RTCI nous réunit. Pardon and giving forgiveness to the Tunisian population. And we have to engage all the stakeholders. We have to engage the victims. We mm -hmm. have to engage the Tunisian population. We have to engage the government itself mm -hmm. as the state that should recover the assets of the population. This law is only targeting uh, a kind of population which is are in what we can say the corrupted people. Yes. It doesn't take it doesn't call for the victims. It doesn't call for the government or the state of the, of, the, of, the, of Tunisia to ask the right of recovery of the assets of the country. This is one of the, of the issue of this of this um, law uh, yeah. right today. We can say that it is a law of impunity. It is a law of impunity. This is the feeling. This is the voice of the street. If you go between coffees in Tunisia, yeah. if you speak with people, the ordinary people, they say, why we, we have this law today? We still yeah, that's the biggest question. Why we have why this law in this parallel law? With, with, with the justice law of uh, 2013, uh, which uh, created what we can name the Commission of Dignity and Truth. Yes. Uh, so uh, many questions we can ask before going to the parliament and vote for this law. We have to ask the question first. We can ask why we did the revolution. Yes. We need a new culture, we need a new values, we need, we need reconciliation. No one in Tunisia is not asking for reconciliation, but we have to make it a real reconciliation where people will be engaged, all of them. We have to open all the discussion and we have to see the corrupted people to know the tools and the way th 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 we see the corruption in, in the country. In this way, and the, f the, the way the, the law has been presented, it's like um, there is a very black box. Yeah. And somehow, where we cannot see how the corruption was in the last decades in the country. We, ne we need to discover. Th we have plenty of black boxes. You Absolutely, know? <laughs> yes. Especially the file concerning petrol and so far, and what yeah. is concerning phosphate and the other energies and gas, etc. So, until now, Tunisians are asking, we know petrol. I mean, hell do see. All these are slogans that have been shouted for so long. We want, Tunisians actually want to know what Tunisians have. It is really impossible to continue living this way without knowing the wealth in Tunisia. And... Yeah access to people to this wealth actually yes. people who are living in very poor conditions and where poverty is increasing year after year this economic crisis is affecting everybody middle class and even lower class today we have no longer a middle class actually let's go back to this reconciliation law so when we watch some of the programs and debates on tv there are people and political parties who are for but others who are really totally against the law as a whole what is the position of the democratic current is is this uh, is the current against the law at all 100 percent or is it um, against the form Formulation, the present formulation or the dra the present draft. If it is reformulated, is the democratic current for it? Yes. Uh, as you may know, I mean, uh, Ter Democrati is uh, one of the pillars to fight for the right. Democracy in the country is fighting mm -hmm. for against corruption in the country. Yeah. And we do strongly respect the law. And we have called for many times that the law and the constitution should be respected in the country. Yes. So we can say today that this law should be reformulated with respect to the victims, to respect to the future, and to respect to the right way in how we will conduct our revolution, our, our change in the country. So we not firm 100% because we respect the law. Yes. We will see what's going to happen in the future. Yes. And based on these changes or these updates of the law, we can give you our position. Okay, so this is really great. So you are for reconciliation, but not in the present draft. Reconciliation is on the heart of everyone yeah. adherent in the entire democracy. We are fighting for the reconciliation because we see the future. Mm -hmm. We see the future with reconciliation. Yes. We are one of the values of the entire democracy is forgiveness. For sure, because we know that the future should be built with all Tunisians without any exclusion. We need to engage everyone in this country because our country needs people we need all the competency of the country and we are not hating anyone so you are for getting back uh, rehabilitating the ben ali allies into society today if they go through the 
through this law and being having this transitional justice? Uh, no, when it comes to Ben Ali Allah, is it yes. is another question here because look, the law should be respected. Everyone who hurt this country, everyone who will make mm -hmm. the gains of the revolution dangerous, a tire democracy will be against for sure. Yeah. Because reconciliation for people who are victims of corruption, we are clear about that. Mm -hmm. But anyone who hurt the assets of the country, anyone who stole the, 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 the public money of the country should go, I think, through the law. Exactly. For sure. Good. So let's go back to this uh, campaign, this uh, national campaign, actually. It has been prepared for a long time. Yes. You've been preparing in collaboration with many other organizations. And uh, let's say uh, the campaign also many Shimsema, uh, I watch the watchdog organization who are really suffering great attacks today because they fight against uh, against corruption and the case of uh, Al Qarwi and many others. So now, now they are really threats. And I suppose democracy is also because we are uh, actually we see Semya Abu the iron woman that as she is called today all the time on the TV show shouting very high all the cases of corruption that are exposed in the HPR and she is revealing documents about yes. and contracts that are really illegal and unconstitutional so how do uh, how was actually the atmosphere what kind of slogan young people have been chanting yes uh, yes uh, on Saturday not yesterday uh, how, how did it feel when you got into contact with these young people? Are they conscious about the situation of the country today? And how does the Diyar Democracy sees the future and this fight against corruption? Because it's a long fight, it's an exhausting fight, and it seems that it is going to take lots of energy from Tunisians and yes. politicians. Yeah. In fact, the ignition of this movement, the social movement, is essentially based on the civil society. Mm -hmm. And the Diyar Democracy, as well as other uh, political parties, was in col collaboration for this uh, street manifestation. And I think uh, that Manisham uh, Samah, as an as example, uh, represent the voice of the youth in Tunisia. Yeah. I have been really, uh, I've been delighted when I see this uh, youth generation of Tunisia uh, uh, get engaged in this debate because they have the insights and they look for the future and they wanted to create a more pure, let's say, future for Tunisia. Mm -hmm. uh, if you see what happened in uh, in uh, the street uh, on Saturday, uh, you can see, I mean, uh, uh, an average of age between, uh, let's say, 25 years old. I mean, people are engaged uh, to um, uh, to fight against uh, this kind of law because it seems that is uh, threatening the gains of the revolution. Yes. People are conscious. We have a good generation today in Tunisia. We have a good youth population, they are aware and they are very intelligent. Yes. Uh, we cannot play with their minds because yes. they fail and they, they know. They can no longer happening. be manipulated. Yes, yes, yes. And if we wanted to make a good reconciliation, we have to put the youth and we have to hear to the, to, to the youth because their voices in the future. If we will exclude the other generation, mm -hmm. I think we don't have future for Tunisia. And that's why. Even though, I mean, at our democracy, uh, most of our adherent, uh, we have more than 70% of our adherent, uh, they have the age uh, 35 mm -hmm. years old and, uh, and below, you see. Good. So we are a youth, let's say, uh, generation uh, adherent party. Yes. Uh, and that's why we, we, uh, we, we every day we, we speak with our youth and we, we, we see uh, how they think about uh, the most political issues in the country and uh, our youth. Mm -hmm. who are in collaborating with Manisim Sama and they have organized everything. So the voice of our youth in Atayar Democracy is very important for us to mm -hmm. understand them and to see their insights, how they see things. And I think Atayar Democracy is an example of political party who, who uh, rely on the voice of the youth uh, in Tunisia. So good. Uh, there have been some of the, uh, of the slogans that have been chanted, it will not pass. This law will not pass. But the problem is, it seems that the president is quite confident, confident. with the votes. Did you see any of the another party members or Nide Tunis members in the, uh, 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 in the national march yesterday? I suppose not many of them have been present. 
Uh, I, I see uh, many uh, leaders of the opposition party. I see many uh, actors. I see many academics. I see many ordinary people. I see many uh, civil society representatives. Uh, sincerely, I didn't see anyone from uh, Nida Tunis because uh, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Uh, when it comes to him uh, to make reconciliation and to be in the free street of uh, of uh, uh, Saturday. Yeah, what will happen according to you? Because it seems that, as I as I said, the president is quite confident with the vote because this law can be can be passed with majority vote with the majority of the Nida party and also Nida Tunis party. What will happen then? Uh, wait and see. <laughs> I mean, uh, we cannot, I mean, pretend the future, but mm -hmm. let me say that... But there is a possibility that we can take into consideration. We will see. We will see. Uh, I mm -hmm. mean, uh, let me say that the, the word, uh, uh, many uh, people from the Tunis, uh, mm -hmm. they raise the fact that many is uh, a very firm, let's say, decision, mm -hmm. but uh, they don't go uh, on deep dive when it comes to many Samah from the, the youth, mm -hmm. because many Samah doesn't mean the meaning of many Samah in Arabic, Yes. But it's give, giving other messages that Manishim Samah for a bad law, Manishim Samah for uh, not the, the discovery of, uh, let's say, the assets of the country, but they have on the heart what it does mean reconciliation with the with the very, let's say, meaning of what it does mean reconciliation, this, this, this youth. Many people from Nida Tunis, they uh, see the form of Manishim Samah without yes. going in depth for uh, this um, uh, social movement uh, for th of, of the civil society, which is with the reconciliation, yeah. with the right conciliation, because this process, as I said, it's not an easy process. It needs many people. It needs an engagement. It needs uh, new values and a new culture to go forward. It needs that everyone should be engaged. It needs inclusiveness. Everyone should be engaged. It needs also, uh, let's say, I mean, the engagement, as I said, for different parties and essentially what we can say, transparency. Transparency yes. is very important. I, I cannot imagine someone uh, uh, that after the revolution we, we, we can, let's say, pardon or uh, forgive someone without giving apologizes to the tu Tunisia population. Yes. Forgiveness is, 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 is a high value. I mean, if you did something wrong, okay, we are with reconciliation, but just say, I forgive, I apologize for Tunisian, for Tunisian yeah, population. Do it in the right way. Do, yes, do it in the right way. Okay. And no one can, can, can touch these people if they forgive what they did as, yes. c let's say, as corruption act against Tunisian population for the last decades. But they have any way to give back what they stole to the Tunisians too. Yes, which is part of the reconciliation process for sure. Yes, I mean, yeah. but they have to give back. Let me go back to my question concerning the fight against corruption. It seems that there is not only this law, but there are many other files that are really exposed every day via social network, via your uh, representative with Semi Abu in the HPR, who is very active. And it seems that her life is in danger now because no. it, she's really, it really happened having threats yes. for her life yes. because of what she is revealing. And Semi Abu, as we said, she never says things like that. She always has proofs and documents to her yes, words. Yes, yes. So how do you do the democratic current, the Tayyara Demokrati, sees this fight against corruption? How are you going to manage all these files of corruption? Is it going to be easy for you? Is it going to be um, to put pressure on the HPR in order to find solution for all these and go through this democratic processing? Yeah, uh, it's very important uh, to learn from the past and we can uh, take some examples of other, other countries, how they fight against uh, corruption. And I think there is a lot of examples in the world when it comes to Philippines, when it comes to South Africa, when it comes to some uh, uh, East uh, of Europe countries. And we can learn a lot of things and best practices from these countries. Mm -hmm. I think reconciliation in Tunisia after the five years passed after the revolution needs uh, uh, needs, I mean, uh, an open debate. We, we needs uh, uh, to uh, create what we can name trust between everyone in, 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 in Tunisia and uh, it needs uh, to put hands together with every party in the countries, the party in the government as well as the opposition because this process is very important and it is very critical to the future of Tunisia. Uh, Tayyar Democrati is 
clear about the process and about our vision, our strategy on how we're going to fight uh, corruption because we strongly believe that uh, fighting corruption is not only for, 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 for the victims, it's going to be also for the whole community and the whole composition of Tunisian society, even though the corrupted people, because if they uh, engage themselves in this process today, this is better for them than, uh, let's say, uh, sleep what have been done as um, as um, uh, hate uh, yes. from the population. And I think it's like a, a volcano uh, waiting to explode. Mm -hmm. That's why we need to um, work together for a good reconciliation, which will have us uh, give us, I mean, a good future to build the economy, the social and the cultural, let's say, uh, movement in Tunisia. Yeah, sure. So with this, uh, we have an insight and we can understand how things are going. And it seems that I don't know for Atayar Democrati, but for many others participants, they are threatening to escalate if the law is passing. And uh, after this national, uh, uh, this national campaign, actually, it, it is even, uh, there are countries beyond bo borders participated. Uh, it seems in Montreal, in uh, Chicago, some uh, foreign countries have been wearing the Manishim Sema. And uh, um, so what's next? What is the next step to fight corruption after this national march? Yeah, in fact, uh, this national uh, march was uh, like uh, a message to the government of Tunisia as well as uh, to all who are with this law mm -hmm. uh, to think sincerely about the future of Tunisia, to uh, give some sense to the message of the youth, to the opposition, because we are all on the same boat. So please think about the future of Tunisia. It's the first message, okay, yes. to... Uh, uh, discard or disregard this uh, this law, and uh, we will see what's going to be happen. Okay, yes. and based on the, the 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 news in the future, we can uh, uh, take the right decision. I think. Right. So before ending, what would be your message for the ruling parties and for the president? I mean, uh, I will say that um, for Tayar Democracy, we are engaged. We are engaged. All of us, we are engaged to fight against any, uh, let's say, relief on the right way of the democracy of Tunisia. We are energetic. We believe strongly to the values of the revolution. We are uh, all, I mean, uh, engaged together to help uh, the process of the democracy in Tunisia in the right way. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope, we hope that uh, all the parties, political parties in Tunisia, because today we see that there is uh, a kind of uh, uh, dysfunction when it comes to the political situation in, in the country and we hope that in the coming years uh, Tunisia uh, took the right way and uh, because it's the future of our kids that's why we are engaged to help the future of our kids and the future of the country we don't have any other ways with reconciliation is on the heart of our prosperity and I think we should all put the hand for uh, igniting, let's say, the, the engines of the economy, the engine of the society. And uh, last, I can say that uh, we are very optimistic and uh, we know mm. that this is a kind, a kind of uh, change, driving the change. And we know that in the change, there is many uh, uh, situations uh, upside, downs. upside downs. And uh, uh, we do believe strongly that uh, what is happening is part of the change. But and we hope that the change uh, will not be an endless because uh, it's, uh, it's like a project. I mean, they have a project have a start date and an end date. And we hope that by 2019 we can We're, we'll reach the objective we'll reach the objectives and we can uh, create i mean uh, a better reconciliation phase for all the tunisians uh, yes. and we can start working essentially on what we need to work for economic issues social issues eradicating poverty in the country enhancing yes. the quality of education uh, creating a new entrepreneurship entrepreneurial project for the economy uh, engaging everyone because we all love this this country and we all believe that what happened in tunisia as as a, as a revolution uh, was in the best uh, way uh, when it comes to uh, the history of our country 
Thank you very much, Mr. Hafez Ahmadi from Tayyara Democrati. It was really a pleasure to share with you some of these news and some of these insights. It's uh, it's really great. So, young people, uh, here you have a real big support coming from political parties and also coming from civil society in this fight against this uh, project, law project for economic reconciliation. As you can see here, the declaration of Mr. Ahmadi, they are for the reconciliation and reconciliation is at the heart of every Tunisian person on the condition that it is made on the right way and on the condition that it is made legally by respecting the constitution and that's the perfect way for both parties being corrupt people going punished and giving back money for Tunisians to the Tunisians so that we can rebuild Tunisia and they can be rehabilitated in society and live like any other Tunisian citizens. And that's it. We have no hate for uh, anybody unless the democratic process is guaranteed. Absolutely. I suppose that's it. Yes, we don't have any hate for anyone in Tunisia. We can share only love and we can share only fraternity, peace, and we have to work. We have to work hard for the countries. We have to give love because with love mm. we can create the future w for our kids. Because the fight today, it's not only for these political parties, but it's for the new generations and our kids for the future in Tunisia. Yeah, that's really important. Guaranteeing future for our children. Already we are, when we talk about youth today, some of the students who are really lost the energy to continue their studies because they know that joblessness is waiting for them. So with this fight, let's give them hope that in the coming few days, things are going to be better. And in the future, there is a better future for Tunisian, for these young people and for our children. Thanks yes. a lot, Mr. Yahmadi, and we wish you good luck for the upcoming work in the Tayyara Democrati. And young people, be optimistic. There are people fighting for you and with you. Thank you. With pleasure. <laughs> It's a night flag. When they say I'm a star, I say thank you. It's all due to the scenes that I ran through, so I keep flying the flag for all people. No mistake.